going on guys, Hit Pause here with a relatively quick tutorial, it should be fast I think, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install a font into UE4 so that you can use it. So basically what you want to do is you just want to go out and find yourself a free font, there's tons of them, go to Google, grab something there, try not to grab anything that's copyrighted, uh, there's a lot of free font websites. So in this case I've actually grabbed uh, what I like to consider a pirate font and I downloaded it and it came with a zip. And inside of the zip, what it has uh, come with is a PDF and a TTF, and the TTF file is basically what we want. So I'm just going to pull this onto my desktop. I've already installed it, so if you want to install a font to your Windows, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is the same in Windows 10, but it's been the same since XP, you just right-click it and say install. I've already done this, but just, just so you know, that's how you install it. Now Photoshop, Illustrator, PDF stuff, um, even Notepad and stuff will recognize this font. Okay. Uh, most of the time though if you already had like Photoshop open you will need to close it and reopen the application for the font to get registered. But in UE, in UE4 it's actually pretty simple. So what you want to do is you just want to come and right click and add a new asset and you're looking for user interface font. Okay. And we'll call this pirate font. Okay, and when we double click this guy, essentially we just come here and we say, we pick the file. So if I go to my desktop, I can pick the file here. Okay, actually, uh, I want to get rid of that. There we go. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So we save that. Now if we go over here and we pick this, we should be able to pick our pirate font. There we go, text block. So if I compile and save, and I come over here to this, there we go. Now whether or not we think we, it's readable, so it says I don't like the looks of that water, I close that, let's say we don't like it. Now it's actually a matter of the size of the font here. So we can say like we want it to be a little bit larger, 32. We compile that, we save that, we come here. We should have now full um, you know, character adjustment ability. Okay. And we're good to go. And that's it. It really is simple. It's very straightforward. I uh, probably didn't need to make this video, but if you are having trouble with your fonts, um, that is what you have to do. Now, just in the case that you try to add that file and it doesn't work, you, know, you probably need a different format. There's several there's at least two types of fonts there's open type and true type and this looks like a true type font so check that it's uh, if it's an open type font there is a chance that it doesn't work I know UDK had issues with one or the other I think it was open type fonts didn't work um, so what we what you want to you know try to find is a true type font which is the dot TTF so this is hip sign off thanks for watching